fishing with these live skipjack, all we get, got is this little 16 inch skipjack. Uh, putting a hook right through his back. And uh, what we're doing, we're tying this balloon on. I got about a 10 foot leader. I'm gonna tie on, put him down about 10 foot. I'm gonna blow this up. Just about a baseball size, tie a knot. And you can use actually balloon clips. They make clips for this, but I like to tie it directly on. That way it's secure. I'm gonna tie this right here on the balloon to the depth I want it to. And that way I can sort of slide this up and down whatever depth I'm wanting it. Uh, a lot of these fish are suspended or right on the bottom, so I'm gonna put a little uh, lengthy leader on there, 10, 12, 15 foot, depending on where they're at. And I'm just gonna free line this bait. We're just gonna let this bait go, free line it. And it's going to find the fish for you. Uh, a lot of people, you know, look for fish a lot of times, with, but with these skipjack, they're so flashy and they get a lot of attention. So you don't need to necessarily be on fish to find the fish. Let the fish find, let the bait fish find them. So uh, that's all we're doing really with these balloon rigs. And I got planter boards on the side, so let's keep these right behind the boat. Another technique we're using down here for these stripers is uh, these are called planter boards. Um, a lot of people down here in East Tennessee. Know what the RU striper fish, um, maybe up north for walleye, even that's what they was actually designed for was walleye fishing. Um, these purpose of this is actually to get your bait away, you know, so you can cover more water. A lot of people, uh, you get your clip right here, you clip your bait on, you got this to hold it on in case your board pops off, and uh, as you pull against the current, they'll actually drift out, and uh, that way that we can cover more water if we don't want if there's fish on the banks. You know, these are great to use and they're really effective to get on the banks, pull your baits right over the treetops. And uh, if you even got some fish stuck in trees, it's, uh, it's a great way to get your bait away from it. Um, and what I do is I'll put um, around six to eight foot up above the leader. Um, it, a lot of people put too much, but we just put six to eight foot around just to keep them away. And uh, it's pretty neat that uh, you know, a lot of people out west don't even know that, don't even use planter board, don't know what they are, just because down here it's more used for striper fish and walleye, and out west I don't think there's um, a lot of walleye and uh, stripers using this technique, uh, a lot of striper guys using this technique because there's no purpose. You know, a lot of people use artificial. Uh, I know some places are outlawed for live bait, certain areas, so uh, we're able to use these uh, planter boards down here, and it's really effective uh, way to fish down here.